kids, welcome to Back to the Bible. Today, we are going to look at the best example of servanthood, which is none other than Jesus in the book of John, chapter 13. Before the Passover celebration, Jesus knew that the time had come to leave this world and return to his Father. Jesus loved all of his disciples very much. It was time for supper, and the devil had already prompted Judas to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist, and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, ooh, drying them with the towel he had around him. When Jesus came to Simon Peter, he said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I am doing, but someday you will. Peter protested, no, you will never ever wash my feet. Jesus replied, unless I wash you, you won't belong to me. Simon Peter exclaimed, then wash my hands and head as well. Lord, not just my feet. Jesus replied, a person who has bathed all over does not need to wash except for the feet to be entirely clean. And you disciples are clean, but not all of you. For Jesus knew who would betray him. After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, do you understand what I was doing? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. Ooh. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Super kids, before Jesus died on the cross, he humbled himself and washed his disciples' feet. In our Super Kid Manual, the Bible, there are so many other examples of Jesus serving others. Having faith like Timothy means you have a faith that serves. Thanks for watching. Back to the Bible.